guys now I'm coming back with another quick and easy recipe now what I'm starting out with is some flaky biscuits they kind of been sitting out so they're like super super soft sometimes I try to not do that because sometimes it makes it harder to kind of deal with them but I'm going to do the best that I can do now you just want to cut these up into like six pieces per biscuit and I have a little bowl over here that I'm just going to be tossing them into and because they're kind of soft I would normally be able to kind of stack them and cut them but I'm not going to do that because I kind of don't want them to be sticking all together so I'm just going for what I know today but this is just something really quick and really easy um you can just get up in the morning on a Saturday or a Sunday or shoot even during the week and make this real quick for the kids um this is something that they would definitely like so you can just go ahead and be having your oven heating to 350 or I have to look on the biscuit um, can to see what the um, temperature says, but it's probably between 350 and 400, and that's usually what I have the oven set at anyway. Um, I usually have ours set at like 370, 400, because ours cooks a little bit off. So just go ahead and get that cut up. That wasn't too too bad. All right, so here I have six eggs that I had already cracked. Now this is some green onion, but I'm gonna use our new little attachment today. So I had to wait until I dumped the green onion in. Sometimes it chops all the way and then sometimes you might have a little piece here or there now you don't have to add this I like green onions so I usually do um, add green onions to my eggs that is always something that I like but as you know when you're cooking for you and your family you cook according to your taste buds my taste buds I love onions so I'll always add some onions to mine now this is the new little attachment this also has a whisk let's see now watch it not go on because i'm here in front of people in front of company i've never tried this before so bear with me oh i see why it has to square up it looks like <laughs> we'll be learning this together I don't know oh. now I know this doesn't come off and I know this goes on but like I said just because I'm see <laughs> oh shoot okay you say now that's the first time using this and I am very very pleased I am not mad at all this is was a very good investment I'm gonna have to buy another one of these because this is what's up wow okay that was perfect now I know I don't have to be pulling the big um mixer out I'm gonna get this big piece out of here sorry about that so next that the eggs go into the biscuit mixture and here I have some um, breakfast sausage some links that I had just went ahead and put in the oven and I had cooked them a little bit and then chopped them up now you can use sausage um, on this initial recipe I seen they used um, 
sausage and bacon. I just thought that that was just entirely too much meat. So I just wanted to go with the bacon. Next, whatever blend of cheese you like, I'm using the Fiesta blend. So you just want to get probably about a half a cup or so. Well, that's, whoa. <laughs> Look, put that back. That was just cheese. Get this mixed up. Okay. That's mixing up quite nicely. Break the biscuits up some. So they're into the little bite sized pieces. Now, I usually don't season my eggs with anything, especially if I'm cooking something with meat. To me, um, the meat is salty, so I won't um, season that. I'm just going to go ahead and get those sprayed so nothing sticks. And then you just want to kind of spoon them in. I'm trying to get the biscuits broken up so I can have like the right amounts in each cup. Like you kind of want each cup to have the same amount. Well, that's only one. That's just sausage. You guys get the gist of it. Each biscuit cuts about six pieces. So you want to each cup to have about six pieces or so. So I'm just going to go and do each cup and then go back in and um, fill them up. And so I'm going to get this in the oven probably at 375, 375-400. I'm just trying to get this evenly done. I don't want, you know, one cup to have a whole lot of stuff then the other cups don't have none. So it's just trying to get everything about right and then I'll just pour 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 I love these new um bowls like I can pour and kind of still maneuver kind of good Okay, so there you have it. They all look almost about the same. Some look like they have a little bit more, but that's okay. So I'm going to get these in the oven, like I said, at 375, probably for about 20 minutes or so. But when I come back, I will let you guys know the exact time. So I will see you in a minute. Okay, guys, now I just took these out the oven. Actually, I took them out about 15, 20 minutes ago when I just let them rest for a little bit. Now, I ended up cooking these at 375 for 20 minutes. And these, these came out just so nice. They are so freaking cute. I'm just like, okay, I am very pleased with the way those came out. So I'm just going to cut into one. So I can kind of see. So it's like biscuit, cheese, sausage, all the stuff. I'm going to take a bite just to kind of see how it tastes.
Oh, that's good. That's like a breakfast biscuit all in one. This will be perfect to make, you know, like for breakfast on the go because you can just um, put them in some little baggies or something or you can make them in a little mini muffin tin. This is absolutely delicious. It reminds me of like a complete breakfast muffin. So you have the egg, the biscuit, the sausage. Everything is complete and ready to go. You guys definitely have to give this a try because this is really, really good. Um, like the ratio of everything is good. I was kind of concerned with how they were going to bake up because it seemed like it was a lot of egg. Because I had... Um, piggybacked off another recipe that I had so I only had six biscuits I didn't have the full pack of eight but this actually just came out fine this is really really good you guys definitely need to try this you could go ahead and add some bacon to it because like I said the initial recipe they had bacon and sausage in it I just thought that that would just be too much meat but you guys definitely go ahead and give this a try so until next time bye